Hey guys, so welcome to my Pussy Talk Saturday video. I just recorded like a 12 minute video and I don't know what the fuck happened. It just, my camera just cut off. But anyway, so I was kind of going back and forth with what I wanted to talk about today for Pussy Talk Saturday. And I said I wanted to hit a lot of topics with this um, weekly video. Last year I talked about entrepreneurship and I was like, what should I talk about? And I, one of my ambassadors slash friends, she's um, confided in me um, a few days ago and I hope she doesn't get mad, but it was basically saying that, you know, she feels like she's been get physically, uh, not physically, but emotionally and verbally abused throughout the years. And I felt like that would be a good topic to talk about because I'm um, not saying that everyone endures it, but a lot, most people have. And I just wanted to tell you a few of my past experiences and how it affected me and um, how it affects me as of today. Um, so, um, physical, emotional, and verbal abuse is never okay. Um, I know as a kid, and I think this is what basically started my self-consciousness about myself. Um, I was about six, seven, or eight out, and I was standing at the table with my grandmother. She was sitting down doing her lesson plan, because at that time, she was a teacher. And y'all know back in the day, teachers did those lesson plans. And I was just watching her, you know, and she just looked at me, and she said, you are one ugly child. And... At that time, that really hurt me because I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the person I love most in the world. And she called me ugly. And I think that started my self-consciousness, like me hating myself, hating my the color of my skin, hating my nose, hating my kinky hair, just basically hating myself, um, wishing I looked different, wishing my skin was lighter, just wishing I could, you know, just do something with my nose and my lips. And... um I think it started me to getting to the point where I would be so scared to be around people because I would think like, hey, if she thought that, then everybody think I'm ugly, you know? And I would always compare myself to certain, to females and not females, but to women or girls I would see when I was in high school. I was like, dang, I wish I had her skin color. Dang, I wish I had her nose. Dang, I wish I had her long hair. And that followed me up until my older, you know, like when I got older and the guy who broke my virginity um he would beat me and you know as a kid my mom she would get uh, physically abused by my dad and in my head that was like i thought like okay it can't be that bad you know my mom still with my dad even though he be beating her so when he would beat me i would just take a moment and be like okay i need to get my shit together like I remember one time I was fixing him some food in the kitchen and all my family was in the front and we had like a disagreement and he took one of those several spoons, you know, that you dip your food with and he popped me in the mouth with it and bust my lip. And I didn't leave him then. I mean, he threw me down some steps once, some concrete steps. Um, he even drugged me out of a dance before in front of a lot of, like everybody. So it's like, you know, I just felt like, you know, I just needed to stop doing what I was doing to deserve that treatment. And then it's like, once I got older, I felt like I needed to do certain things to keep people happy. You know what I'm saying? So I was giving a lot of myself to people, to guys, to uh, boyfriends, and was basically getting nothing in return. So it's like that would basically put me in a bad position to where I was just so empty. Um, my last relationship was terrible. Like, my ex, he was beautiful. Like, I mean, beautiful, gorgeous, built, just... But his outside, was his the rapper was nice, but the inside was horrible. He was very manipulative. He was abusive, physically, uh, not physically, but mentally and emotionally. Hey, guys, and I'm back. I'm sorry I had to go get dinner out the oven, but like I was saying, like my ex, beautiful, beautiful on the outside, but... His inside was just rotten to the core. Like, he was mean to me. He called me bitches. He would just be very manipulative. And me, because I was trying to hold on to that, it's like I would feel like I was doing something wrong. So I would apologize and be like, how can we fix this? 
And then I started noticing like <sighs> during the times that we weren't talking, it's like I felt so good. I felt liberated. I would get all these ideas. But when we were talking, I would be depressed and just feeling like I wasn't worthy and things like that. And so finally, I just had to take the shit to my altar. I had to talk to my ancestors. I had to pray on it. I had to meditate on it and be like, get this toxic nigga away from me. And so I met this guy. And I know that's not a way to get over another person, but it's like when I met this guy, he wasn't what I liked physically. I mean, he, he handsome as hell. But he was skinny. Well, he is skinny. But it's like how good he is to me outweighs anything. Um, he is very sweet. He does for me whenever I ask him to. He calls me beautiful. He just basically uplifts me and just basically speaks life into me. And like... You know, he was in a previous relationship for like a long time. So we're basically taking it slow, but he is just such a breath of fresh air. Like he's just something I wasn't used to. And I'm thankful for that. Um, so guys know that mental, emotional, physical, verbal, none of that is never okay. If you're with a person who's tearing you down, or if you're with a person or if anyone, I don't give a damn who it is. Because sometimes family will tear you down. And you will feel like, hey, that's family. No. No. Nobody toxic deserves to be in your space. Nobody. I don't give a shit who it is. Um, sometimes you just have to get away from people to keep your sanity, to keep your peace, and to just keep yourself happy. Um, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's hard, but at the end of the day, you're gonna end, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel stress free. You're gonna feel happy, and that's how you want to feel. You don't want to walk around feeling depressed and feeling like you're not good enough and feeling like you're ugly and stuff. Cause me, I used to like people would invite me to events, and because I had so my little self esteem was so low, I would literally talk myself out of going because I would be like, nah. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to go because, you know, I just just didn't feel comfortable being around people because I thought I was so ugly. I thought I was just not enough. I was like, mm -mm, I'd just rather sit in my bed and just be in my safe space. But sometimes it's good to get out around people. And like when I did start it, like when I would go out, it's like it was never what I thought it was. It's like people would really accept me for me and be complimenting me and shit and like at one point when people would compliment me it would be a shock it would be a surprise like what you know what i'm saying and it's just like i don't know that's why i'm just so happy that i started my self-love journey and like now my attitude is whatever you think about me that's your problem because I know what I think about me. I love me. I love every fucking inch of me from head to toe. I am the motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy that we're talking about this subject because my shirt says, know your worth. I don't give a shit if it's your baby daddy. Because guess what? You single until he put a ring on your finger. Like, don't let anybody. I don't care if you got kids together. I don't care if y'all been together for years. Never let someone talk down on you. Never let someone put their hands on you. Never let someone manipulate you into thinking that you're not good enough or that you're the you're the one in the wrong or everything is your fault. Don't let people do that to you. And the only person who can stop it is you. Um, so with that being said, if you're going through some shit, you need somebody to talk to, hit me up. Cause I speak, I I let you know. You need to let them and don't don't hit me up if you're gonna listen to what i if you're gonna not listen to what i say don't don't dm me if you know you still regardless of what i say or try to help you or talk to you you still gonna stay connected to the person that's making you feel like shit because you're gonna have to get through that on your own but if you ready to get out of that shit and to love yourself start working on yourself start start that self-love journey start doing shit to make you feel like you're worthy enough to Get away from that person because you are worthy. Everybody is 
needs peace in their life. Everyone. You, you promised only a few good days on this earth. Don't fill your few good days with a bunch of toxic shit that you can control. Don't fill your fucking uh, few good days with people who you can get the hell away from. Who are making you feel like shit. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. And if you have children, don't do that to your children. Because trust me, that shit can affect your children. Your kids can feel that. Like, your kids can feel what you feel. Trust me, my daughter, she feels everything. Like, I, so, I remember there would be days I would be out crying, depressed, and I would try to get myself together and come in this house, and my daughter would literally just come and hug me and be like, Mom, you're okay? I just realized something's wrong. And I would have to sit there with a strong face and lie and say, I'm good, because I didn't want to put that on her. But even, if I, I, even though I'm not putting it on her, she feels it. So don't let people get you to that point where you're bringing all that uh, depression and anxiety and, and shit into your house with your children. I'm telling you, you are worth more than that. Physical, emotional, um, verbal, none of that shit. Abuse, none of that shit is never okay. All right? So that's my pussy talk Saturday video. I hope you guys get something from this. I hope you guys learn something from this. And if you're going through some shit with a toxic ass person, I hope this kind of boosts you to get the fuck away from them and start loving yourself more, loving on yourself more, loving on your children more, and just start getting more positivity in your aura all right so i gotta go about to eat this dinner thank you guys for watching my pussy talk saturday video i really appreciate it comment below if you feel like somebody needs this video share it with them um let them know they're not in this shit alone and if they're ready to get out get the fuck out i'm here inbox me we can talk you know what i'm saying so yeah love yourself love yourself and love on the people who love you all right all right Gotta go.